OK, so at this stage, we need to write our final specification. Um, previous lesson, we wrote our initial specification, which is just where we've taken the information directly from our research analysis and we've just turned it into, into bullet points of things that relate to each of the, the points in the Access FM. So things that we found in our research that links to all the different Access FM points. Now you need to then convert these into specific specification points more related to the final design brief that you've chosen and we also need to organize them so that they're in an order from the most important through to the least important. So you can see here for the top grade says written a comprehensive relevant specification including a range of objectives and measurable criteria um, which means he obviously you need to be able to at the end of it say did I do this or not to direct the information uh, sorry, to direct and inform the design and manufacture of a prototype. So it needs to be relevant and comprehensive, really detailed with all the information. This is to get the top grades and then we've got relevant uh, range of objectives, um, uh, written a satisfactory specification with some key points, with some, some key points partially informing uh, we're in a small range of potentially appropriate specification points for limited marks. Now, this is kind of what um, the layouts. Now, they all say the same thing pretty much, just taking away the different um, uh, different access FM points. So this says, what is the most important aspect of aesthetics that your product must consider? Um, what is the second most important aspect of aesthetics that your product must consider? What's the third and what's the fourth? And it just says the same for cost. So what's the most important aspect of cost that you found all the way through to the fourth, etc. going through? So just a guide there of the types of things that you need to be thinking about. And this is an example one that I've done. Now it's very comprehensive. Every single one of these is linked to back to the initial specification and all the research that was done. Now I've copied and pasted my final design brief here. So I've said designed to make a chair for adults that will be sold as flat pack. It must be suitable to use in a garden and below £100 to buy. The chair will be lightweight and a small size. The products must uh, be mass produced and be made from a sustainable materials like bamboo. So using that specification, I've then organised them into what I think the most important thing is through to the, it might do this. So I said the chair must look attractive. This is important because the client must be proud to own it and want it in their house. The chair should have neutral colours like whites and navy blues because those are the colours that might, that, uh, those are the colours in my client's house. Uh, the chair could have a modern look with clean lines and built-in furniture, which means the price could um, can increase. Um, the chair might have black features so that it will look good. Sorry, it will look good. It will be good, sorry. So it will be good to hide any dirt that might get on the furniture um, from when it's outside. So uh, everything I found about aesthetics, I listed down and I just organised it into it must, it should, it could and it might. So that's like the most important, the second most important, so it should do this as well. It could do this, it doesn't have to do it, but it could. So that's like the third and the least important is it might. So it doesn't have to do this, but it, it could, it, you know, it might. It might and it could are very similar. Uh, but it's just another word to use which kind of helps to show that it's not as important as the previous ones at the top and then some of them you might only get two from so it must be good value for money because of the pandemic the chair could use materials that are sourced for, for free or at a low cost so some might have less than four but some of them like you can see the material one here has loads of loads of different aspects so the materials must have a low impact on the environment. The chair must be strong. So I can use must quite a few times. So I've used two must there. The chair must have strong, be strong and durable. The chair should uh, use minimalistic material uh, packaging. Should, so I've done two shoulds and I've done a couple of coulds and I've done loads of mites. And you, you can decide what, you know, whatever 
what you want to use in relation to those, you know, all the way through to all the different things that I found just organized. Um, so um, obviously this stage is really important. You need to really make sure that it's clear. And when you then move on to your sketching next, you make sure that all your sketches do the musts. So you need to make a list of all the musts and it, it, it is all your design ideas must do these things. OK, and if they don't, then obviously it's not going to link to your specification and then you won't get the better marks later on um, in relation to the, the mark scheme. OK, all right. Thank you for watching.